Hello, future fighters. It's me, Cynic Alex, and I'm back from my super secret spy location in Portugal, where Netmarble can't find me and influence my RNG. So I'm here to give you guys the full scoop now that the scopes of Netmarble are not aimed squarely at my forehead with the red dots. So we've got we got this cosmic core event going on, not the faction battle. We got the cosmic core event. It's now live, so I wanted to give you guys all of the information that I've been able to collect on it. Um, and give you guys my sort of best advice for what you should do. Now, before we get into that, we also have to get into uh, what is the Cosmic Core. So, when you first log into the game for the next seven days, you're going to see down at the bottom next to, next to the Dimension Rifts and the Faction Battle and the Event Shop, that gray one that says Cosmic Core. It's going to be available for seven days only. Uh, it'll probably come around once a month, hopefully, like the um, Collector's Vault and other sort of, you know, timed, uh, limited events like the Battle World. Um, but this one is going to basically reward you, as you can see in the top or in the bottom left hand corner, um, it'll reward you with cosmic energy for doing your, your regular daily missions. So uh, what you want to keep in mind for, not necessarily for this week because it's the first time, but from now on, when there's going to be a cosmic core, on the day that it lands, you should wait until it's live to do your dailies, just in case there's any sort of um, delay or anything like that, because if you rush through your dailies, uh, then you'll lose that cosmic energy. But anyways, this is essentially how it works, but before you can start collecting cosmic energy, you actually have to click that button at the bottom, that green button, reward search, this is going to begin your journey. Now, I'm a little bit unclear with whether or not we can get multiple uh, final rewards, I don't think we can, but um, that is something that I cannot say f with 100% certainty because I haven't seen it addressed anywhere on the forum so just keep that in mind that's the only piece of information I really don't have so you click reward search and you're going to get one of 18 random rewards so that was my random reward it's 250 Mkron crystals now sort of like an epic quest I can I can begin my journey um, collecting all of these smaller rewards down here at the bottom and I can unlock these rewards by doing um, different things in game to get cosmic energy and then I will spend that cosmic energy to unlock these rewards at the bottom and then once I unlock all of them I will be able to get that final reward Okay, so that is sort of the base. That is sort of the basic uh, understanding of this. But everyone's final reward is random. It's not the same. So some people will get super lucky, as you'll see. Some of the rewards are amazing. Some of the rewards are not as good. In my personal opinion, there's about three bad rewards. The Mkron crystals are not great, but they're not one of the worst rewards available. I would much rather have 250 Mkron crystals than a six-star mastery ticket, okay? But anyways, it, 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 the reward is in the eye of the beholder, but the, what you need to know is that these are all free rewards, so I like free stuff, and it's cool that they've sort of made made sort of an event out of it. Now, you can also change your reward, and you're going to hear a lot of people talking about this. So when you press this button here, it'll show you the list of rewards, and this is what I was talking about. I think this reward is kind of a dud. Um, I think the Mkron shards are a dud, and I also think that the mastery ticket is a dud. But pretty much everything else I think is useful in one way or another. Of course, certain items are going to be more useful, like the 75 Cosmic Cube Fragments, the Mega Tier 2 ticket, and these ones right here um, but I don't think any of the other rewards besides the three that I listed are useless I think they all have um, great use uh, that you can for either character building or account building now you can see here that it says 75 crystals to change your reward this is sort of a last ditch desperation button that you want to press on the very last day of the cosmic core event if you're really really dying for a specific reward and you think you're going to get lucky but my advice to you is do not press this button unless you're a super whale or unless um, you you know are desperately looking for a specific item. You know, you need 75 cosmic cube uh, fragments to get gene grade tier three. This is this is really reserved for super whales and really desperate people. The majority of the time, I hope for 99% of you, you will never be pressing this button because you also get one free reroll um, per day. So you can see their rewards can be changed for free after 22 hours and 34 minutes. So Keep that in mind, um, you will be able to get a free reroll every day, which is why I say you should only press that change reward button um, on the last day. Now, I just want to double check really quickly. If I press it, is it going to give me a prompt? Okay, it doesn't give you a prompt. So I spent the crystals just to show you guys. Be very careful. Pressing the button will spend the crystals right away. It's not going to give you another prompt page to say, are you sure you want to spend 75 crystals? I guess the first prompt page is when you click change reward. So do not click 
that button. Okay, let me just make that very clear one more time. Now, as far as the chance of getting different rewards, so I originally had the Mkron Crystals, I refreshed and I got the uh, Extreme Obelisk. Honestly, not that bad. But if you want to see the actual table uh, and the list for the, the rewards and what the chances are, you can go over to the left side in the middle and you can click the uh, forum button. When you click the forum button, it's going to open up here. It's, it's upside down for me for some reason. Um, and then you're going to uh, scroll down and you'll see there that it says Cosmic Core Final Reward Individual Probability Chart. And you click on that and then you will get a list of all of the rewards and their chances. And the cool thing is that all of the rewards have the exact same chance. It's just under 6% chance to get every single reward except for the Mega Tier 2 ticket. So actually, I had an equal chance of getting the Cosmic Cube Fragments, which is, this is good, this is a good sign. So there's only one ultra rare reward, which is the Tier 2 Mega Ticket, and it's got a 1.5% chance. So, you know, it's a 1 in 18 chance, but it's a little weighted towards some of the other rewards, and it's a little less weighted towards uh, the Mega Tier 2 Ticket. So now let's get out of here, and let's go back to the uh, Cosmic Core, so we can talk a little bit more about it. I just need to figure out how to rotate my phone. So we're back in the Cosmic Core, and now we're going to uh, start collecting Cosmic Energy, so we can start Start collecting those smaller rewards now you can actually just press the arrow to go and acquire cosmic energy so for example I've already used my boost points and they're ready so I can go to the daily missions and I can immediately jump in and start uh, you know finishing them off so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna clear ticket these and we're gonna see if there's any sort of pop-up for how much cosmic energy you get so yeah we got in the corner there plus 40 cosmic energy we also got the uh, Uru there we're going to okay we get these rewards sure uh, I just want to show you guys what it looks like so we just got 40 and now you can see there's a little red dot in the cosmic core so we go there and you can see that uh, well there's no oh I can click acquire okay so I'm not really sure what happens when I click acquire let's just click acquire and see what happens for 15 energy, I acquired what exactly? Oh, okay, I acquired the gold. Now I need 40 energy to acquire the next one. Oh, I see. So the very first reward requires 15 cosmic energy, and then you retain whatever cosmic energy you had left. So I have 25 left, but now the next one costs 40. So to the best of my knowledge from what I've understood is that every reward after the first one, so the first one costs 15, from there it will start to increment, it will start to go up in um, values of plus 25. So you can sort of do the math on how much cosmic energy you're going to need, but you know, uh, 15 plus 25 would be 40, and then that would make the next one after this one, after the rank up, or the gear up kits, the next one should be 65. So we're gonna press uh, acquire on the gear up kits. We're gonna get the gear up kits there. And now, yes, it's 65 for the black antimatter. So you can go ahead and start calculating how much energy you're going to need to complete all of these. It's actually a lot of energy, so do keep that in mind. Also keep in mind that your um, your progress will reset. So you can see here, when changed, you can acquire each normal reward from the beginning. So keep that in mind that um, when you change your final reward, it also resets your progress on the rewards here at the bottom. So even if you have, let's say, a bad item uh, at the top there, you don't necessarily want to change it on any of the days if you are running very low on energy. Now, I don't really know why you wouldn't have any energy, but let's say you just don't have a lot of time to play or something like that, because you do need to collect all of the other rewards and you need to work your way up to the final reward. So there would be no point in, in, in refreshing it and resetting your progress all the way back down to the 10,000 gold um, if you're not gonna be able to get back up to get that new item, whatever it is, when you change the reward. So make sure you can bank up enough energy. You know, you can get 75 energy from your alliance um, by going into the shop and, and going into the store. I'll give you guys a really quick rundown on where you can get energy. So I can get 75 energy from here. You can also get energy from the daily and weekly challenges for your alliance. You can also get 75 energy per day by trading in your uh, alliance uh, uh, assemble points. You, so you can do this and get 75 energy per day. You have all of your daily challenges, which is going to net you a certain amount of energy. You can also start banking your um, weekly energy, the 55 energy that I have there on the right, and the 100 energy that I haven't unlocked yet for 24 completed daily tasks. You can also bank your 50 uh, trivia questions. You can also bank up energy from the uh, world boss invasion. So this is not something that you can necessarily do right now, but you can start planning for the next time. If we scroll down here, you can see that I have a whole bunch of check-in energy that I've saved up. This is just a habit I have of using energy at the last minute. This is something that you may want to start doing if it's going to improve your progress and make it a smoother run for you to get all those cosmic core 
uh, rewards um, you know each each week that it comes around so you go to co-op and you go over world boss invasion this week I believe there's only two energies banked there's a hundred and a fifty but on the other week there is more energy for the Odin one so you can bank those for seven days additionally you can get energy from the featured shop uh, by purchasing it for gold so try to make your energy go uh, sort of the, the furthest that it can you can also bank up my tip for you is to bank up um, uh, uh, Sh Shadowland missions because each Shadowland mission each Shadowland stage that you complete will give you 10 points so with a large roster you could complete theoretically at least 80 stages in the week that would equal 800 cosmic core energy now again some people don't have time to wait for this day you know we're only a few days out from the from the weekly reset not everyone has the chance to wait but the good thing is that this cosmic core event lands in the middle of shadowland so you can actually get your runs in this week plus you can get next week's runs in if you do them early so you could theoretically get um you know 1600 cosmic energy uh if you complete 80 stages twice because 800 and 800 uh, energy for that and then for everything else it really just relates to the actual um, energy costs you can see here like world boss invasion costs 10 energy and it gives you 10 cosmic energy giant boss raid costs 25 energy and it gives you back 25 cosmic energy so it's the exact same sort of one-to-one -one ratio uh, the only thing that's different the only thing that gives you a slight advantage is dimension rifts dimension rifts will give you three cosmic energy so when you're completely out of boost points one strategy that you could do although it's a bad investment of energy for the other items that you get like it's not a good investment of energy for um uk and other things like that you could run the very first stage so stage one uh, i believe it's going to cost you three energy so that will still be a one-to-one -one ratio but that will be the easiest thing that you can run the fastest thing that you can just clear ticket uh like crazy and you can get you know pretty good rewards because you'll get dimension debris and cards pretty consistently i would say either do this at the end if you're just trying to rack up energy for the final reward or if you're desperate you can also go to the story missions and you can grind out uh you know something like either uh uru if you need specific uru you can just go and spam certain missions to get uru and you'll also get some gear up kits and you'll also get of course cosmic energy or if you need the items for the shield lab you can get the uh, stark branded blueprints or the component packs uh, which will also give you cosmic core energy so those are my tips that i have for you guys for this event um, remember you get one free refresh each day but every time you refresh it's going to reset your progress here at the bottom so you want to keep that in mind but you can also use that to farm certain rewards so i would say uh as a as a as a sort of rule of thumb if it's possible I, again i don't know how much energy it's going to take to get all the way up there but if it's possible to get up to the six star um, you could possibly get it's a three to six star card you basically get a chance one chance per day to get an additional six star card which i think is absolutely amazing so that's what i'm going to be aiming for personally saving up enough energy to be able to hit that mark right there uh and on the right side every single day and then use my free refresh every single day that this is my strategy and then on the very last day whatever i end up with is what i'm going to keep or if i like something before the end of the six days i will just keep that let's say my next refresh is ccf i'm probably just going to keep that uh hopefully you guys all get a good reward hopefully no one has spent crystals on this and if you have stop and don't do it again and yeah i like this i like this uh this this uh event I think it's cool uh, I just think people need to be aware of the uh, requirements and they need to be careful and they need to just plan ahead and be smart so I think if this video uh, has helped you out let me know in the comments down below also give the video a like if you enjoyed it if you have any other tips for the cosmic core event also hit me up in the comments and let me know thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later take care